Hi students, this is Alex here. Exercise 9.3, question number 1, subdivision 2. Evaluate the following definite integrals. We have a quadratic equation. Then we have a completing square. So, we have a general form. Integral dx by quadratic equation. ax square plus bx plus c. We have a completing square. So, we have a direct way. We have a completing square. So, minus 1 to 1 dx whole divided by if you complete this square, first x square is x, you can see the number of x. If you copy the whole square, you can copy the last number. Then minus, the number of square is subtracted. So 1 square. So this is the complete square procedure. This is the same array of sums. So this is minus 1 to 1 dx by x plus 1 whole square plus 4. This is 5 minus 1. Now we have 2 square. Integral minus 1 to 1 dx by x plus 1 whole square plus 2 square. This is a general formula. Integral dx by x square plus a square. This is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. This is plus c. This is plus c. This is the limit of the limit. So, a is 2 by 2 tan inverse x is x plus 1. Now, square bracket put it in. Limit is minus 1 plus 1. Now, we have upper limit. So, 1 by 2 tan inverse 1 plus 1 by 2 minus lower limit. Minus 1 plus 1 by 2. Second part, numerator 0 is equal to 0. So, this is tan inverse numerator 2. 2 by 2 is 1 minus tan inverse 0. So, first term at the end of half tan inverse 1 on the pi by 4. Second term 0. That is the answer pi by 8. 